Welcome back, today we're going to make a musical saw. Now, you can just play the saw, but we're going to make some modifications to make it a little safer and easier to play. This is just a standard woodcutting saw, and you can see it's got plenty of teeth that are super sharp. And that's kind of the issue of making this a musical saw, is that those are a little dangerous to have around the studio. If you kind of brush yourself against those, you'll easily cut yourself. So first thing we need to do is to remove those. But one interesting thing with saws, and I guess this is true for tines and reeds on electric pianos, is that they're made from a real high grade of steel. So this is super strong. I've never seen one of these saws bent before. So the first thing we want to do is vice it up and I'm going to use an angle grinder with like a flapper pad to take off those saw teeth. So I was shopping the other day and I seen this saw and it was only £4 and what attracted to me was that how thin it was. So you really want like a thin long saw that that would be ideal for music making. And it doesn't really take that long to kind of remove the teeth. And one other modification we want to do is just get rid of this corner here because when we're playing the saw we're going to put a lot of compression in it. And if we let go we don't want to let go and spring out a sharp point. So I've rounded those off. I think I might add a bit of tape on there as well, just to kind of belt and braces this. But this is pretty much it. There's a little bit of rough edge on, the, on each side. So I'm just going to run some sandpaper on that to kind of round it off. But yeah, a music saw. We've kind of got electric pianos. We've got a slide guitar. And now we've got a musical saw. This, is going to, this could potentially be a very interesting band. So one band I really do enjoy is Neutral Milk Hotel and they use um, a saw in a, a few of their tracks. I have done this before and we used like a vintage saw and it worked really well. So we'll, we'll see if this one works like the other ones. So we're going to need two extra things. We're going to need a bow and some rosin. Rosin is rubbed onto the bow and it allows it to have friction between the saw and it allows it to kind of smoothly generate resonance. This bow's seen a bit of life. It's lost a bit of hair, so I don't feel too bad rubbing it against a sheet of metal. Although, that might be why it looks the way it does. So to play the saw, I'm going to grip it between my knees. And the plan is to kind of bend it into an S shape. And the more force and the more S you put into it, the higher the note. And then we're going to play it with the bow. And the deeper the note is, the further down we'll, we'll, we'll rub the bow. And as we get higher pitch, we're going to lift where the point is that we rub. It's quite hard to explain, and my only advice is just to have a go. You soon pick it up. If it doesn't make sound, change where you're actually rubbing the bow. Well, that's it for this time. So next time you're looking at DIY stuff and you see some stars, maybe see if you can pick one up and have a go on making your own. It's good fun. <laughs>